All right, welcome back. Next exciting episode is going to be making the shapes. Let's just jump right into making shapes. Um, I don't want to start doing shapes and borders and this and that and do everything all at once because it's just going to get confusing. This way, uh, if anybody needs to use these for references, you can always just go back and find out. Anyways, so let's just jump right back into this here. Okay, here we are, back in action again. So we're going to just worry about making shapes. So here's your little shape tools down here. This will do a pentagon. You can change the different sizes. This will be for making like stop signs and those school signs and stuff like that. Anyways, let's just make a basic sign. In this little short series here, the next little three episodes, let's just concentrate on making a sign. So I'm going to show you how to make some blanks, which would be your, your um, we're just going to make the aluminum, the size of the aluminum blank, not the actual sign itself right now. So here's your little tool here. It's uh, called a border tool. You click it, and once you click it, see how it, it, it brings it. So you're just going to drag it out, make kind of a box. And then when you release it, when you release that tool, let me show you how you do that. You just click on your box. You come up here on the screen, hold down on your left mouse, pull it out, and just draw a box. And then it brings up the tool. We're going to make a 36-inch sign blank. 36. The length is going to be... 36. Now you can just hit tab if you want. For all intents and purposes of this, let's do the thickness and the inset. Let's just go, whoops, tab it down. Let's just go zero, zero. Uh, then the type, you can hit the type that you want if you want it round, squared, whatever. Anyways, let's just go with the round. And then we'll tab down. When I say tab down, hit your tab key, or you can just click your arrow on whatever works for you. Let's go 2.25. That's your standard radius corner, which would be the round ends of the sign. That's your standard for a 36 inch blank. And then hit OK. And then you can come back up. Since you have that tool still in operation, just come back up, hit your selection tool. Now, like I showed you before, now hit your space bar, center it. OK, now you have a 36 inch blank. You check this out. See that um, here where it says at the bottom 36, length 36, just one object selected. So that's our sign blank. It's a 36 inch blank. Now let's add a little color to the thing. Select it, you highlight it blue, and let's click down here, let's make it yellow, because we're gonna make a dead end sign. So we've clicked it and we've made it yellow. Now on your keyboard, hit your F8. Now see what it does? It toggles it in and it shows you the color. Um, if you don't select anything and you just go back to like your neutral, whatever, you hit F8, it's still going to go back to yellow. Okay, so that's our... Uh, I have to... Let me stop here for a moment. Uh, back where we were, we're making the, the uh, sign blank. I said we're just going to go ahead and we're going to make a... Um, what did I say dead end sign and we'll do, we'll do that but I just kind of want to show you the little shape tool to start with and so that's how you you set up your your sign blank to um because obviously you want to the next phase would be to cut your layers that are going to go on the top of it with your uh, materials and stuff but um we're back and we got the um like I said we got the yellow sign blank now what we want to do I'm just going to get rid of that Let's run through that again. You can make any size sign blank you want. Like say I want to make a, uh, we use these bike lane signs and the height is going to be 18. The length is going to be 24. We're going to zero zero. And those are always a 1.50 um, radius. So I'm just going to, since that's already set up rounded there, I'm just going to click okay. And it went ahead and it set me up a sign blank for a 18 by 24. Go back, hit your um, selection tool. And you can see when you click it at the bottom there, your your height is 18 and your length is 24. Uh, whenever you whenever you're talking signs and you order blanks, you always go by the length first and then the height. But this kind of does the height first then the length. So when you order your sign blanks, you always say, oh, "I need a I need them to be 24 by 12." So they're not like, uh, well, is that 12 inches this way or this way? So you always want to order your length first. So whenever you're talking a sign, you always go your length first, then your height. Um, so, so that's just how you make some various sizes of your sign blanks. And you can, um, let's do another one here. I know on some, I'm going to delete that. On some of my uh, sign blanks, my 
like I'll do the stops or um, traffic signs, the speed limit signs. Okay, now those are, um, the height of those is 30 inches. The length of them is 24. It's going to go zero. But I know the radius on most of those is 1.875. And see how you just type in 1.875? And it sets up the radius corners right here for 1.875. So that's how you, you, you make your, your blanks to start with. And I'll, next episode, we'll do the borders. Now, if, if I want to do a circle, I make very few circles. I know those railroad crossing signs are circles. So let's click the circle. Okay. Now hold down on your control key on your keyboard. And I'll show you what, what happens when you hit control. When you hit control, it's just going to make a circle and it's all uniformed all the way around. Okay. Selection tool. Let's try that again. But this time we're not going to hold down on the um, control button and we're just see, I'll click that. I'll make a circle and see how when you drag it out, it's it's not going to be a pretty, pretty sign. I don't never see a sign blank that looks like that. So with these to resize these, it's really simple. You just double click on it. And then you come up here to well, you don't have to double click on it. I'm sorry. You just you click it and come up here to shape. And then you get your size. Okay, so click size and it brings up the size bar. Now it has a uniform thing here, which would mean uniform, which would go top and bottom. Since it's a circle, let's just click and we'll, we'll make it a 30 inch. Okay, so now as you can see, the size of it is 30 inches on, on all, all sides all the way around. So we'll click my shape tool and go to the size and you can see now it's 30 by 30 because we had the uniform button checked, which means it makes each side equal to whatever this is up here or whatever size you have down here anyways so as you can see i'm going to hit my space bar center everything we have a nice even circle here move this over bat now we've got this guy here which just turned out to be a monstrosity because it wasn't so what we'll do is we you can always change the shape on this thing if you wanted to so i'll show you how you change a shape on this so you want to go to your shape go to size Uncheck the uniform here because if you don't uncheck the uniform, here's what's going to happen. So you want to make that 30. It did make it 30, but it also brought out the same ratio across this way as it did this way. So go back into your shape, size, and then see this uniform box? Uncheck that. Okay. Now click 30 and put 30 in here. And now it's going to change both sizes to 30 by 30. So it's just as easy to start off by holding down on your control. And so now that you have your round circle, you can go ahead and make your railroad crossing sign or whatever you want to do. So uh, you guys can just go ahead and uh, practice around with that if you want. I'm not going to save that stuff. I'm just going to um, delete those. So you can use this little video as reference on making your shapes and stuff. So on, uh, stay tuned because the next exciting episode, we're going to add borders. I can hardly wait for it. Alrighty. Thanks for watching.